Hey, what's going on, guys? Mimikyu787B so nice here. Welcome back to another episode of NASCAR Thunder 2000. It's episode number 65 today for the 2001 Pop Secret Microwave Popcorn 400 at Rockingham Speedway. One of my favorite tracks to just be a part of. Such a fun track to race on. Um, yeah, we did obviously had a great race at Talladega, but at what cost? I'll explain in a minute. We're up to 15th in the standings, uh, just ahead of our teammate Joe Nemechek. Rusty Wallace is still leading the way by 27 points. He... he this, this title fight is going to be extremely interesting to watch with these three. Tony Stewart's trying to go back to back, which uh, may or may not be working so well so, for, so far. But we ended up costing an engine, I'm afraid. Um, we did blow it up somehow earlier in the race. We somehow managed to repair it. Um, but speaking of repairing, that's probably what we're going to have to do right here. We're going to have to sit, sit, sit this engine out for two races. That's okay. As far as the chassis is concerned, we're going to have to overhaul one of them. That way it gets a, oh, that drafting set overhauled just a tad. We're going to spend that for 362000 for two, two races. So now we need to build yet another car. Another car too. Isn't it like my sixth or seventh car too? I don't even know. But but uh, we're going to be a l just not exactly the freshest engine in the world. But uh, thankfully uh, we did use the, the brand new one anyway. So that's good for uh, Talladega. So that's something to, to look for, and uh, we've been making the, the gear ratio setups again. But uh, wait, but I'm not so sure. We'll have to see what the tech regulations are for uh, 2002. Um, that's all she wrote for that. Let's head over to Rockingham and see how well we could tame the rock this time. Can we smell what the Rockingham's cooking? All right, Rockingham, always one of my favorite racetracks to drive on, but we haven't really had that much of a success success in this game compared to, like, uh, Thunder 04, anyway. We only have one lap of qualifying, as per usual now, because we have over 16 poles. Um, I was, in practice, anyways, getting 23 fives, which was the pole time somewhere around there, anyway. I had to make a good amount of adjustments to make this thing uh, better than what it was the last time, anyway. I was consistently getting to a point where I was getting a tenth of a lap, tenth of a second quicker each time. And there we are. We're in P3 on lap one already. This is actually pretty good. Um, we start behind Mark Martin and Ricky Rudd. We finish. We start ahead of our other uh, Pennsylvania native, Jimmy Spencer, as well. That's very nice to see. So anyway, we got a long race ahead of us. Let's see what we can do. We're live from the North Carolina Speedway, otherwise known as the Rock side of today's NASCAR race, the Pop Secret 400, right here on MRN. What can you tell us about this track, Barney? Tires, tires, and more tires. You've got to take care of your Goodyear Eagles when you come to this place. Otherwise, you'll be sliding up into the wall before you know it. The Richmond International Raceway car has been working hard at qualifying all season, and it's really showing. Oh, yeah, and that makes it so much easier on race day also. When there isn't much traffic, it makes your race a lot less stressful as a driver. An impressive average finish record for Dale Earnhardt. Yeah, he really turns it up a notch when we come to this type of track, and these speedways can be very tricky to get the hang of. He seems to know them all like the back of his hand. We are surrounded by Fords. Everywhere I see is Fords. Oh, my lord. But anyway, the title fight is going to get interesting as well. We're I'm trying to find where the heck is um, Rusty Wallace and Jeff Burton. Okay, so I see Jeff Burton there, so that's interesting. I'm not sure where Rusty's at. I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll he'll, he'll pass it sooner or later. Anyway, we got 98 laps already going in the green flag, and we're already doing something very illegal to get to the lead away, steal it away from, from Mark Martin anyway, as we, as we take the lead right out of the gate. But we're going to probably lose it. No, he won't, because we will just cover right up on him. And I want those five bonus points, if you don't mind. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the only five bonus points I'll ever get in this race. So... 
We're just going to take that with a great assault. We're leading the way at, at the rock, but not for long, of course, because here comes the rooster himself, R Ricky Rudd. We do get the we do get the five bonus points, which is which is all that I wanted. Thank you very much. We got two Roush cards and a Robert Yates racing forward right beside us as well. But I mean, we've been kind of a bit a bit of thorn on Ricky Rudd's side in terms of like race wins. Anyway, I think we prevented him from winning. I think Richmond it was because um, once we got our groove in, but. Ricky Rudd's going to power on through on the outside line. No chance there. Absolutely none. Yeah, we're, we're, we're still hanging with the leaders already. I mean, this car is doing so much better than what it was before in practice. But, man, th these guys are so much quicker. Um, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna let them go. But not Kyle Petty, though. We have make a very slight contact with the with the six car anyway. We're just going to keep chilling in the third spot. Maybe even, let, unfortunately, uh, all these two guys are behind us as well. So, ooh. Hmm. I, I, I don't know. I want to race them for the spots, but at the same time, you know, the, the picture for them is they have to, like, you know, finish ahead of each other. So I'm not sure if I want to pick, put myself in, in any more uh, tru Whoa. All right, so Kyle P Petty actually making himself relevant in his career mode for the first time ever. S Stork puts us in the wall. There was a three-wide maneuver there, and, of course, I was on the, the bad end of it. I think I finally got a, a taste of my own medicine after this whole, this whole time in his career mode anyway, just being forced to be wide like that. So I'm not going to complain about it, though. Tony Sword is going to be so much faster than us anyway. We got Jamie Johnson behind us, who's also in this race as well, trying to make his presence known, which, you know, it has been before. I'm not sure if he has a top 10 finish in his career mode or not yet. I think he has. But, um... At this point, at this point, the car is getting. The car is, of course. I mean, it was before. It was tight as hell, but but now it's starting to get a little tight. So, so I'm I'm, not, I'm pretty sure I'm just trying to push it just to try to stay up there with the leaders anyway. But for sure, I want to make this thing a lot looser still. I mean, this thing's already loose enough as it is. Hold on a second. So it's already negative 1.5 on the wedge, which is already a, a high number for you to put down. So I'm debating whether or not I should put that down to like negative two and a half. Uh, that's the furthest down I ever went. So I'm afraid of just spinning out all over the place, you know? Okay. Okay. Immediately afterwards, we got some left rear damage. Um, I guess I, I think I wasn't clear anyway at that point. Yeah, we're, we're slowing in the leaders already on lap 7, so that's already fun sight to behold. I'm not sure how this is going to, to affect the speed of the car now, because with a slight because the game says we have left rear damage, but uh, we'll see. All right, let's see what this lap has to say in here. I just need to get back into my rhythm here. Uh, let's see, what's the lap going to be? It is a 23. Alright, so it's not bad. Uh oh, I got on the gas a little too early. Yeah, I got on the gas a little too early, and, and his, the car just absolutely washed. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, this, this thing is still fine. It's just, I, I'm either A, overdriving just to try to keep up with the AI as best I can. But, uh, oh, oh, oh boy. Right, I'm just going to let Ward go. Maybe even our teammate go by, and here comes here comes Rusty, but I definitely don't want to le let the one car go by. We do need some, we do need the money, of course. Even though, even though we're sitting on top of a throne of, of cash because of the uh, Talladega win, but still, couldn't help to get a little bit more money, especially for future in the future anyway. Those jackpot five races in this game really help, and financially anyway, they really do. So I'm really appreciative on that, and we want two of them. Uh oh, some brotherly love right then and there. Rusty and Kenny Walls got together. I think Kenny. I think Kenny needs to know that he has to let his brother go on by, man. I mean, he, he's competing for the title, and we are not, my my guy. I mean, we we did the uh, the old special special Rooney um, last time around, and no, you, you shall not pass, Steve Park. Absolutely not. We can't we can't we can't afford to let you go financially anyway. We're barely even keeping up with like Ward and our teammate at this point. We got some people behind us that are catching up as well. Yeah, we're gonna be cranking that <laughs> uh adjust on the uh adjusting the car anyway i mean i'm not the only one that's that's suffering i don't think i gave a little i gave a little too much contact there on the left front that's rather unfortunate there 
so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to repair this just a little bit anyway as well i, I thought i was good i was good enough to just at least slow the steve park down now you know that you know what i normally do i just give him the light tap just to, to make sure they can stay behind me or whatnot i guess i put a I was i overdid it just a little bit there and that's how i got the left front damage right then and there that's how you can kind of manipulate the AI, AI just a little bit though but yeah our our our, our pay, true pace is ab absolutely showing now as we're now now caught up to the, you know they those that second pack behind us has definitely caught up to us front tire front front tire, tires are already worn 22 laps in um that's not good that's definitely not good at all 100% no no bueno at all 100% mm. Yeah, this is going to be a rough one in the later going of this run anyway. We're already going to be falling outside the top 20, maybe even top 25, and just about maybe 10 laps time. We're definitely going to fall a lap down this race for sure. Yeah, 25 laps in and the tires are already gone. That's 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 still not good. That's, that is 100% not good. We're making it on fuel barely because of the uh, gear ratios I put down here and compared to the default ones. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna have to hope to get lapped down and uh, just at this point see who wins this race. I don't, I don't even know who's lead, who's leading this race at this point. I'm just trying to run 24 second lap times compared to like what I was running down there, down below. 23.4, 23.5s. Who's leading? Okay, so it's Jeff Byrne over over uh, Earnhardt. I don't even. I mean, Jeff is trying to make him sure she can win his first championship. Rusty's going for a second, and T Tony Stewart's going for a second. So I don't know. I'm not sure who do you all think is gonna win the championship because it's certainly not us. That was um, rude, not gonna lie. That was pretty rude on my part to put our teammate Joe into the wall like that. Um, yeah, that was that was not exactly the cleanest move I've ever done in my in my life. I'll tell you that much. That is not what I wanted to do <laughs> at, at all. Uh, I, I definitely I definitely well I got the short run put bit of the setup correct at least. So that's that's something there. If we could get like a late race restart or something like that. I mean. A natural caution would be nice because we haven't had one in like I don't even know how long to tell you the truth. I would love for a natural caution to come on out. That way we can just come on in and uh well we're not gonna be able to make it on fuel, that's the problem. We're gonna have to hope for another one. And we might have to do some uh uh sketchy stuff if, if that were to be the case. Uh, I tried to park the bus, it just didn't stick. There goes Steve Park. But we could try to go for the repass here. We, this is our one and only chan chance of the repass. Can we make it happen? We do a little bit of rubbing. We do a little bit of brotherly shove. That's we that we trademark on this on this channel anyway. Um, there we go. We got back into the twentieth place spot. Make sure, more importantly, ahead of the one car. <laughs> I'm more focused on getting ahead of the one car. The thirty-one car can go right by me and with no problem. I really don't care. Um. Yeah, who's still leading the race? It's still Jeff Burton. Johnny Benson's in fourth. That's nice. Tony Stewart's in, in, down to the fifth. I don't even know where Rusty Wallace is. So I actually want to go take a uh, championship look at here. Championship battle alert. All right, so championship battle alert. Where are we? Where is uh, Rusty at? All right, so he's down. He's up to ninth. So so he's he's definitely on his way for sure. He's definitely on his way up. Um, term towards the field anyway. Yeah, I mean, for us, we're still hanging in P20. I mean, we're st we're still hanging around. We're about to get lapped, but that but that's pretty much the case here. Um, we're gonna go two laps down this race, most likely. Um, so I do want to go down to pit road soon because our tires are dead. They're deader than dead. They're gonna be deader than dead in about two laps because I'm pretty sure I'm waiting for that t that icon to turn from yellow to red. The leader is just behind us now. I could I think that's Jeff right there yeah oh my god that entry was awful oh my god what was i doing there what was i doing that was the worst entry i could have ever done in my life at rockingham we're gonna try to go for the repass here at, at, at on uh mike skinner here but without getting overtaken ourselves by ken schrader and we do get the pass we're still side by side but we're gonna do the old no we're not we don't even have to that's cool um so we do manage to keep we do manage to keep that spot um, my goodness, that was the worst en corner entry, and you can feel free to roast me in the comments with that one, because that was a horrible entry going into turn one at Rockingham. Oh, my lord. I can't be the only one that thinks I, I suck at this place, because here's Scott Pruitt, as 
Some people coming down pit road early, it looks like. Okay. Trying to get the fresh tires early. I mean, I don't blame them at all, but my fuel will not make it. Oh, can the yellow flag come out to play? Because we're about to go a lap down. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Fall off is still only a second, to tell you the truth. It's not terrible as we give Jeff Burton a little bit of rub rubbing because I really want a caution to come out, like, right now. And it's not going to happen, is it? Uh, I mean... You do what you gotta do! Uh, you do what you gotta do! You do what you gotta do to try your best to have a yellow to come out. Oh, is it now? The time's a little off. Hmm. I, I don't recall asking. Alright, we're, we're, we're coming in. Or I'm already help holding up enough of people already, enough as it is. I'm not trying to hold up Mike Skinner here. I'm actually trying to come on in. Yeah. I'm trying to crank that- I, I crank this thing down the pit road. Okay, we're making a big swing to this thing. It's probably go I'm probably gonna regret it, but I'm gonna make a big swing on the adjustments here because we're already a lap down and we're not gonna get ourselves, you know, back up there anyway. That's, that's a bit unfortunate there. We hold up Steve Park on pit road, which is really nice to see. No mistakes here, please. Por favor. Alrighty, alrighty. That's nice to see. We give a good gap on hit on uh, Steve Park as Jeff Burton comes out on pit road before us. And we got some current cars coming on on track. We're going to have to see where we cycle out. But we're, as of right now, we are still only a lap down to the 99 car. Pace-wise, the car feels fine. It's just, uh, it's just again, the damage is kind of holding me back a little bit in terms of like what I've done. I mean, it's all self-inflicted, self of course. I may, it was, It's my own fault for letting that happen. But, um, yeah, the higher pressures obviously make my top speed a little bit less. But I'm just trying to make sure I can actually uh, last a little bit longer, if you know what I mean. And I don't mean in bed. I just mean on the track. I just need to last a little bit longer. That's all. As uh, Mike Skinner is ready to make a pass on us. There we go. I'm not sure. I think Dale is... I'm sorry. Little E is on the same lap. I mean, as well as the uh, the one car as well. Jeff Burton must be in a stratosphere because here's Rusty Wallace right now. I think Rusty is like ninth right now. I forget where he's at. I mean, he's, oh, he's in fifth, actually. So he's, he clawed his way up to the top five. So he, he's there. Um, yeah, our, 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 all our people are racing against are behind us. So I have to hold off Steve Park for 38 laps. Wonderful. He's been defending from my life for the last uh, 10 laps or so. Dale Jr., my goodness. That caution almost just occurred right then and there. I would love for a yellow flag, a natural yellow flag to come out. I mean, we're already a lap down, yes, but hell, we're probably going to go down two before this race is over with. I mean, that's good for me. The shorter the race at this point is, the better it is for me. But we're still running inside the top 25, which which is actually what I, what I have the, the sponsorship objective for. Um, I mean, getting the prestige to 80 is going to be nigh on impossible for me, I think, right now. I mean, I, I, I wanted to, to take this... Uh, Sponsorship because I wanted to take a package sponsor pretty soon anyway, but I wanted to make it the package in the 80s anyway But if we can only get 70 then we can only get 70 I believe I, I mean, that's just the way it's just the way it goes unless unless we can get to, to the package to a uh, prestige to 80 somehow like maybe from the other sponsors besides the uh, the hood sponsor anyway Maybe something we could work out that way there. Oh my goodness. I just just let Jeremy Mayfield waltz on by for a position thinking he was a uh, somebody else I, I don't know we're gonna get the repass on him though down, down here in the turn one because we're gonna use carl long as a pick thank you carl thank you mr mbm motorsports guy thank you uh we're not done yet it looks like uh not done yet now we are thank you carl that was very nice of you i need new material Tell you what, though, I think I made the right call with the uh, car adjustment, to tell you the truth, but the by increasing the pressures like that, because we have yet to even hit a, t a lap time in the 24s yet. I mean, I'm probably going to get hit one here because I had to let Tony Circo by, but, um, yeah, yeah the, the car, I mean, it's not as bad, definitely for sure. I'm definitely, like, plowing still, not as bad. But yeah, this, I mean, this, it's, it's a better, it's better than what it was before, anyway, time-wise. I mean, we're still hanging on. I think... I'm not sure if Terry's for a position or if, if he was for a position. 
Okay, I, I had no idea. I actually had no idea you were for position, so that means I'm going to have to repass you here. Thankfully, because of our new newfound top end uh, straight line speed, we can somewhat keep up, but we did not get there in time. Ah, crap. Um, I didn't even know you were for position. I, would, I never even looked on the bottom left corner to see that the five was there for a position. Like, okay then, Scary Terry. No wonder why you're nicknamed as such in this channel. I question sometimes if Scott Pruitt is even making minimum speed on some of these tracks. Isn't this like his, like me, me, me lapping him down a second time? And we're already a lap down, so he's going to go maybe four laps down right now. I mean, I remember I was like that anyway, in the first season of this career mode anyway. It was pretty bad. Um, yeah, we're still hanging on the P23. We're just kind of chilling, really, to tell you the truth. Um, is Jeff Burton still the lead in the race? I'm going to assume so. He is, I'll followed by Earnhardt. How big's the gap? That's what I want to know anyway. I'm pretty sure they both cross the start-finish line at this point. Um, okay. I don't even know how many people are on a lap down. Oh, so he has a six-second lead. My God. And really? Like, four, 13 cars on the lead lap? I mean, my goodness, Jeff. Just stop. I mean, if he can, I don't think he's going to be able to get through all that and get up to us in time, but I hope he does. Less than 10 to go for us right now, and... uh we're still hanging on the 23rd, definitely hanging on, even though we had to do a little bit of uh, sketchy stuff by bumping people out of the way just to, just to uh, keep our spot in 23rd, but we're still hanging on, though. I mean, the tires have yet to hit red, but that's going to change pretty soon. Uh, I'm just really hoping for Jeff to come on up and just lap us already so we can, so we can, get, uh, so we can get going anyway. Um, yeah, our tires have definitely lasted a lot longer this run, uh, even though the, the lap time-wise say otherwise, but uh, we're still hanging on. I can't. I, I don't believe that we're still hanging on, but we gotta fight for Steve Park here in just a second. Oh boy, here we go again. Round three. Here we go. Ding ding, Mother Hubbard. We're. I mean, we need the. I, I know. I keep saying, oh, we need the money. We need the money. We need the money. Of course we do. Every uh, every dollar we get is gonna is going to count towards like the future of this let's play anyway. So we, that's why I'm gonna keep fighting for it. Up oh, there. We, and there we go. And there we go. The car washed up. Alrighty, here we go. We gotta go make the repass on him in this corner. Otherwise, we're gonna be in a heap of trouble. We're gonna do some a little sketchy stuff here. Well, well, there we go. <laughs> we don't e we don't even get 25th anymore because I decided to do that. Oh well. <laughs> you know the old saying: Don't get greedy. And look what happened. Hold on. Can we get a repass on John Andretti right here? Looking good so far. We can make the move here. I don't know. I don't know if we can get the repass on uh, Mayfield though. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to go if we want that top 25 sponsorship money anyway. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to go and go now. I mean, get, finishing ahead of uh, which we call it isn't helping. Isn't happening today, Steve Park. But um, oh, we're gonna have to go. Make sure uh, Jeff Burton doesn't lap us too. We we need the time to get to get around these guys. Up. Oh. Doing a little st little stuff here. We can get Mayfield. I think we can. We, we just got to not get lapped by Jeff Burton. Because I remember how I said I wanted to get lapped by him. And now I said I don't want to get lapped by him. Because now I don't want to get lapped by him. We're going to we're gonna try to fight J Jeremy Mayfield for the top 25. Because we do need that sponsorship money right then and there. We're going to have to do some sketchy stuff here, I think. J Jeff Burton wins. Yes, but we're, we're, we might not even have to do it, actually. Because we're going to be side by side with Mayfield coming off the corner. No, we won't. We're gonna need we're gonna need a good run off this corner here. We want to do something here, which we don't. Sending it on him. We got the top 25 money. I'm sorry. We got we had to get the money. We had to get the money. We finished 25th. We could have finished ahead of Steve Park if I wasn't so stupid. <laughs> we'll take it. I don't care. Daryl and Hart finishes 13 seconds behind. Dear God, Jeff. The mayor is back in town. That's right. Jeff Burton has won, and not only that, completely destroyed the field here today at Rockingham Speedway. I probably had driven driving that track wrong the entire time, to tell you the truth, because when I was doing this little recording here to get Jeff Burton going, I was going like maybe two tenths quicker. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, there's always next time for Rockingham anyway, I feel. Uh, it's either that or it's just the race now car is a little different. Not so sure.
But anyway, he wins today. We finished 25th, barely, because we had to do a little uh, shimmy shammy on, on Jeremy Mayfield. We lost the, uh, the spot with Steve Park, though, which I was trying to go a little too hard upon. But uh, there's always next season where I feel like we can have a chance to keep moving up in the standings anyway. Congrats, Jeff. Alrighty, well, we got money. <laughs> That's all there is to it. That's what matters. So, yeah, Jeff Burton completely destroyed the field today. Der Earnhardt finishes second. Ricky Rudd bounces back to third. Rusty Wallace fourth. Mark Martin fifth. Johnny Benson sixth. Stewart finishes seventh. Labonte eighth. Matt Kenseth ninth. And Jeff Gordon ends up in the top ten. Jimmy Johnson was the last car in the lead lap still, finishing in LP11. Um, as we take a look at the rest of the field, of course. Um, yeah, we were, like, one of the only cars that were still left one lap down. Um... Can't say the same for like Brent Bode, for Scott Pruitt though. He finished four laps down. My God, my dude. It's time time for Craven to take over the ride. Alrighty, we're heading to the in real life championship finale anyway at Phoenix, which is should not be the which should not be the finale anyway. It should be Homestead, which is not which is um I think it's in this game out today. Anyway, we head to Phoenix next time around. Let's see where we're at in the standings, of course, because we did fall down a little bit in the points. But yeah, we're still we're still 15th in the standings. But the more question to point is, oh, it's a two point battle now between uh, Rusty and Jeff. 82 points back is Tony Stewart. 139 back is is uh, Earnhardt. Three races to go. I mean, I mean, mathematically, it's these four. Ricky Rudd has nigh on impossible chances to catch up now. But um, mathematically speaking, it's just down to three. These three guys. Will Rusty Walls get his second championship or will uh, Jeff Burton get his um, his first? I mean, they have six, six and five wins, respectively. Earnhardt has three. We have six on our own because <laughs> uh, the, we sweep the su super speedways, which may not happen anymore. But um, that's all there is to it in this episode. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps out the channel quite a bit. And as always, we'll see you in the next race at Phoenix. See you guys then.